guys and welcome to the video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up shipping in woocommerce so if you're completely new to setting up shipping in woocommerce i'm going to cover everything in this video tutorial um, we're going to be using this article as a guide and i'm going to leave a link in the description so setting up shipping in woocommerce isn't that difficult it actually depends on the complexity of your store so the products you're offering if you're just offering simple products you don't really need to know everything but if you have like a full-blown e-commerce store then you need a lot of experience okay but i'm going to try and walk you through everything related to shipping and woocommerce and break it down as much as possible okay so before we get started with the actual setup let's go through a few woocommerce shipping terminologies so the first one here is live rates so live rates are just uh delivery rates from a specific carrier okay so if you're using fedex or usps or ups uh you can actually synchronize their cost for any of the products uh, your customer is trying to order in real time okay so that's what live rates is um we also have table rates Table rates, uh, the seller creates a set of rules which compute shipping charge. So this is just a set of rules that helps um, you as a WooCommerce shop owner generate shipping charge. Okay, so you can use several things like product price, total order in the cart, the size and the destination. Okay, next thing here is free shipping and free shipping is just an option that allows customers to not pay for or delivery okay so you can actually set up free shipping with woocommerce also we also have a local pickup so if you want customers to come over and pick a product you can add this option and we have one other one which is flat rate okay so it's not listed here in the article but flat rates basically allows you to charge a specific amount of money for an order then the last terminology that you need to know here is shipping zones so a shipping zone is just a geographical location where your products can be shipped to okay so you can specify a shipping zone with the a country name or you could go really really specific with zip codes or area names so it really depends on so it really depends on wherever you're trying to ship your products to so woocommerce makes it very very easy to pinpoint certain locations uh down to their zip codes that you support shipping of products to okay so that's basically all the basic terminologies involved here um, so let's get started with the tutorial let's set up a shipping zone in woocommerce um, i'm going to explain the entire process along the way so you go over to your wordpress site log into your dashboard so you go to woocommerce and click on settings okay so once the settings page loads click on shipping so there's a shipping tab here and you're going to see that the shipping tab is separated into three sub tabs so we have shipping zones shipping options and shipping classes so the two most important tabs here is the shipping zone and the shipping classes okay shipping options is just a one-time setup so Shipping zones are geographical regions where a certain set of shipping methods are offered. So um, right now we really have one shipping zone here and this other one here. So this location is not covered by your shipping zone is being generated by WooCommerce. So if a customer is staying outside the US, um, whatever shipping methods and shipping costs you add here, um, it's going to apply to them. And if a customer is in the United States, uh, they also have their own separate shipping methods and shipping cost. Okay, so this is just a way to separate shipping methods and shipping costs for different regions or countries. So you can add a new shipping zone here. So I'm just going to get rid of this so I, I can show you how to create it. So remember, this is always going to be here. And when you have a new fresh install, you're not going to see this flat rate here. So I added this myself. So uh, I'm going to save changes and go back to shipping zones. So this is basically how it's supposed to look like when 
you're just trying to set up your site for the first time. So something to note is once you don't have a shipping method added to a location, you're going to get this no shipping method offered to this zone, which basically means anybody that falls under the category, um, this category here are not going to be able to put to purchase a product from your website. Okay. So if you have a store and you don't want people to be able to order for your product outside the locations listed here, you can just get rid of the flat rate or any of the shipping methods listed here. So let's go ahead and add in a new shipping zone. So first off, we have to add in a shipping zone name. So this can be anything, could be the name of the country or the name of the area. So I'm just gonna add in the United States and add in the country from here also. So as you can see here, I can select United States, I can select Alabama, I can select all the sub states inside uh, United States here. So I'm just gonna select the entire country. If you click on limit to specific zip slash postcode, you get access to this field where you can add in different postcodes. So we're not gonna add that. So that's the first step. Select a zone region, add a zone name. Then next up, we have to add in the shipping method. So if you click on add shipping methods, um, there are basically three. We have flat rate, free shipping, and local pickup. So I already explained these different shipping methods in the beginning of the video. So I'm just gonna add in the flat rate shipping method. So click on add shipping method and click on edit. And over here, you can ch actually change the name of the method. See from flat rate, you can change it something else like um, fast delivery or whatever. The tax status, you, you could make this taxable or non-taxable, depends on how your business is set up. So I'm just gonna leave this as none. Then over here, you can enter a price. So if I enter 50, uh, whenever somebody wants to order any product that falls uh, within the zone, they're going to be charged $50. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is if you hover at this um, help icon, you're going to see a few short codes that you can use to make specific calculations in the shipping cost. Okay. So, uh, for example, if you want to charge $10 for every single instance of the item being ordered, you can add in this star symbol and add in quantity so that's q t y so for every single quantity ordered of a product you're going to charge ten dollars if somebody orders five quantities of a product it's going to be ten times five so the delivery the shipping cost is going to be fifty dollars if you just want to charge a flat rate for the product so if somebody orders five or ten you want to charge the same amount you can just leave the cost like this and if you want the other way if you want to do the other way around you can add this so there's still some other short codes here um, like fee percent you could charge a percentage of the product cost you could charge the mini the minimum fee of twenty dollars and a maximum fee so there are a lot of short codes you could use here um, and that's for advanced websites. Okay. So if you, if you have an e-commerce website that has a lot of complex rules and products, then you can look into these different short codes and how you can implement them. Okay. So I'm not going to explain everything here uh, right now, but I'm going to explain them in a bit. So once you're done with your, with adding the shipping method, just click on save changes and it's going to be added here. Um, you could also add another shipping method if you want. So you could make this free shipping if you want. Um, and you can add the last one, which is local pickup. So you can use a combination of flat rate, free shipping, and local pickup. But if you're using free shipping, you have to make sure there's a specific requirement that must be met. So either it might be a free shipping coupon or a minimum order amount. So if somebody is ordering over $100, you could make it free shipping. You could do both minimum order or a coupon and you can also do a minimum order amount and a coupon so this is like both of these conditions must be true so uh, for example you might uh, make the order amount $100 so you have to have ordered at least $100 and add a coupon before you can get the discount okay so that's just um, how free shipping works you have to set a condition 
So that's basically it for shipping methods here. It's very straightforward to use. Um, in certain situations, you're going to find that you are not able to get a scenario for your product. So that's where shipping classes come to play. Before we go over to shipping classes, let's go over to shipping options. So here, just make sure you have enabled the shipping calculator on the cart. So a customer can see how much they're being charged. Um, you don't really need to even change anything here, except you want to change the shipping destination to customer shipping zone. So by default, it goes to the customer billing address, or you can change that to the shipping address that you add. Okay. So any of these two, and you can also force shipping to customer billing address. So even if a customer enters shipping address is always going to deliver to the billing address, but just leave this at the default, except you know what you're doing. Okay. Um, we'll go over to shipping classes, which helps you to make complex classifications. So right now I have a few shipping classes set up. I have bulky items, fragile items, lightweight items, and specific packaging. So um, to add a new shipping class, just click on add shipping class it requires a name and a slog and a description. Okay. So the main use of shipping classes is to help you classify your product based on a specific criteria. So for this first shipping class and the third one, it's based on weight. So if a product is heavy, we could make the shipping cost of that product more costlier. If it's lightweight, we could reduce the cost also. And if it's fragile, we could add a specific price for that also. So shipping classes just help you to make better shipping cost for products with different kinds of criteria. So they just, they really, really help you to make simplify the whole process. So I'm going to show you how to add a shipping class to a product. Um, and I'm also going to show you how it works with the zones. So we're going to open products in another page and I'm going to apply a shipping cost to products here. So let's edit this one, Bini with logo and I'm going to scroll down. So once you're um, at the product edit page, just click on the shipping tab and you're going to see shipping classes. Okay. So by default, every single product have no shipping class assigned. So if I click on this, you're going to see every single one here. So this is a shipping, a bunny with logo, which is a lightweight product. So I'm just going to select lightweight item and click on update. So once you update this, um, the shipping class is going to be applied. So if we go over to shipping zones and we edit for the country that we're shipping to, which is the United States, um, under your flat rate here, you could make it in such a way that whenever somebody's ordering a fragile item or a lightweight item, they have a different cost. Okay. So if I put in five here, we're going to charge $5 for the product. So if somebody orders 10 bunnies with logo, it's only going to cost $5, but it's only for lightweight product. You can also use the same kind of short code they're using at the main cost here over here too. So for every bini ordered, we're going to charge $5. Okay. Same thing for bulky items or for fragile items, you could set specific pricing. So when no shipping class is um, added for any of, of your products, it's going to use this. But if any of these conditions are true, then it's going to use the costs added here. So that's the main use of um, shipping classes. You could also charge, change how you charge, you could charge per class or per order. So if you charge per order, it's going to charge the shipping for the most expensive shipping class. And if you charge per class, it's going to charge the shipping for each shipping class individually. Okay. So it's a little bit complicated, but uh, once you started adding products and playing around with this, you're going to get used to it. So that's basically everything about shipping, um, in WooCommerce, there's nothing else here. Um, you can add in some plugins that help you to get life rates. So if you're using USPS or FedEx, you could add in a plugin that allows customers to get the life delivery rate for any product, but that's outside the scope of this tutorial. Okay. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions. Don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel for more content.